Hi, boys and girls. Well, this week we're starting our unit on Maryland, and we happen to live in the state of Maryland. So we're going to read a book called M is for Maryland, an alphabet picture book about Maryland. And it's written and illustrated by Carla Golimbi. All right, so let's find out some information about the state in which we live. Hmm. See some mini pictures around the map of our state. And here's our Chesapeake Bay. We live down here in St. Mary's County. Oh, I see some symbols of Maryland around here that we're going to be learning about during our Maryland unit. A is for Annapolis. Annapolis is the capital of Maryland. The governor and general assembly work there to create the laws that everyone in the state lives by. The general assembly is made up of the Senate and the House of Delegates. A is also for azalea. Azaleas bloom in bright pink and red and purple and white in Maryland in the spring. So, the capital city of Maryland is Annapolis. Baltimore is the biggest city, but Annapolis is the capital city. B. B is for black-eyed Susan, the state flower. Black-eyed Susans grow in gardens and fields and along roadsides throughout the state. B is for also for Baltimore, which was named for Lord Baltimore, who governed Maryland in colonial times. So the state flower is the black-eyed Susan. C is for crabs and Chesapeake. Maryland blue crabs come from the Chesapeake Bay. Blue crabs are the state crustacean and are a wonderful food. Maryland sells more blue crabs to families and restaurants than any other state. Sometimes they are made into crab cakes, which are delicious. Do you like eating crab cakes? So here on the side, we see that state flower, the black-eyed Susan, and here we see the blue crab, which comes from the Chesapeake Bay, and it's our state crustacean. D is for Frederick Douglass, who was a great orator and African-American leader. He was born in Easton. He fought against slavery all of his life. D is also for Deep Creek Lake, Maryland's largest inland body of water. So the largest lake in Maryland is Deep Creek Lake. And this is Frederick Douglass who fought for the right of freedom. E. E is for Eastern Shore. That's the part of Maryland between the Chesapeake Bay and the ocean. If you explore the eastern shore, you will find many small towns and fishing villages, marshes, and wildlife areas. Farmers grow melons and corn and strawberries, soya beans, and vegetables there. Oysters, crabs, and fish live in the waters of the eastern shore. F. F is for flag. The state flag of Maryland depicts the coat of arms of the Calvert family, which governed Maryland when it was an English colony. Cecil Calvert was also called Lord Baltimore. The King of England, Charles I, appointed him to rule Maryland during colonial times. So Baltimore City is named after Lord Baltimore, who was the governor of Maryland back in colonial times. And here is our flag. G. G is for Glen Echo Park. In 1891, Glen Echo began as a Chatuqua, a place where people could learn about art, science, and literature. So you can go here, and it also has a merry-go-round. 
By 1900, it was an amusement park. In 1971, it became a national park. On its grounds is the Denzel Carousel, which is hand-carved and was built in 1921. It has 40 horses, 4 rabbits, 4 ostriches, a giraffe, a deer, and a lion. Which animal would you like to ride on? Hmm, I think I would like to ride on a horse. H is for Historic St. Mary's City, which was the first capital of Maryland before Annapolis. St. Mary's City is located in Southern Maryland. Hey, that's where we live, St. Mary's County. It was the first place in America where people could attend whatever place of worship they chose. And here is the State House, which you can see at the historic St. Mary's City. I is for Inner Harbor. Many office buildings, shops, hotels, and restaurants line Baltimore's Inner Harbor. The Maryland Science Center, Port Discovery, the Baltimore Maritime Museum and the National Aquarium are there. Have you been to any of those buildings? I like the Science Museum and the Aquarium. That's one of my favorite places to go when I'm up in the Inner Harbor. J is for jousting, the official state sport of Maryland. Jousters are people who ride horses towards each other and try to knock each other down with a long pointed pole called a lance. So if you've been to the Renaissance Festival, you might have seen the jousters there. So that is the official state sport. It's an individual sport. K is for Francis Scott Key. Key was born in Frederick and was inspired to write the Star Spangled Banner. In 1814, after the British bombed Fort McHenry in an attempt to capture the city of Baltimore, they did not succeed. So, and then Congress adopted the song as the national anthem in 1931. So if ever you've heard the Star Spangled Banner, that's our national anthem. And that was written from uh, Francis Scott Key. L is for lock, a section of waterway closed off with gates. There are 74 locks on the CNO Canal between Georgetown and Washington, D.C. and Cumberland, Maryland. So you can actually take a boat and travel through the locks up the CNO Canal. You can ride beside it too. There's a bicycle path and a hiking path. M. M is for Maryland, the seventh state to enter the Union on April 28, 1788. The state bird is the Baltimore Oriole. The state boat is the Skipjack. Many accomplished people from all walks of life came from Maryland. Do you know who Maryland is named after? We're going to find out. N is for the United States Naval Academy, located in Annapolis. The Naval Academy is a four-year college that has trained young people to become professional offices in the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps since 1845. Students study the same subjects they would at any college, but also learn, learn all the aspects of seamanship and leadership. So maybe one day you'll grow up and go to the Naval Academy in Annapolis. Maybe that might be the college you pick to go to. Oh, O is for Ocean City. In the summer, when it gets really hot, many people head to this famous beach town on the Atlantic Ocean. Have you been to Ocean City before? Lots of people like to go there in the summer. It gets very crowded on the beach as many people go there for vacation. P. P is for Potomac River. 
The river is 400 miles long and flows from the mountains of West Virginia along the Maryland-Virginia border through Washington, D.C. and back into Maryland where it meets the Chesapeake Bay at Point Lookout. Wow, that's a very long river and it travels through many of the eastern states. Q. Q is for Queen Henrietta Maria, who was the wife of King Charles I of England. In 1632, Charles signed the charter for the Calvert family to establish the Maryland colony. In honor of the king, the Calverts named it for Henrietta Maria. So that's how we got Maryland. And you can see the state bird, the Baltimore Oriole, and the flower again, the black-eyed Susan. R. R is for Babe Ruth, one of the greatest baseball players who ever lived. He grew up in Baltimore and was from a very poor family. The first team he played for was the Baltimore Orioles. He broke all records for home runs, runs batted in, runs scored, and bases scored. So that's Babe Ruth, and he played for the Baltimore Orioles. Do you like baseball? S. S is for sailing. On a sunny, breezy day, the Chesapeake Bay is full of boats of every size, shape, and color. When you sail past the buoys, you might see ospreys nesting in them. And you may also see, hmm, I wonder what else you might see. I have a funny feeling it might begin with the letter T. T. T is for Thomas Point Lighthouse. This lighthouse, which is located on Thomas Point near the South River, is a very funny shape. It's a cottage-style screw-pile lighthouse. From 1875 until 1986, it was operated by a person who lived in it. Now a computer runs it. Can you imagine living there, surrounded by the sea? I think it would be kind of cool to live in a lighthouse. And they used to have the boats come up to this platform here. Then they would get onto the platform and then walk up the ladder into, or climb up the ladder into the lighthouse where they lived. And you'd have to light the light at the top. U. U is, U is for U.S. Constellation, the last surviving Civil War ship and the last warship that the U.S. Navy built that used only sails and no engines. She was launched in 1854. The Constellation has been restored and is docked in the inner harbor. Yeah, you can go and visit it and walk on it. U is also for Umbrella. The first umbrella factory in the nation opened in Baltimore. So Baltimore used to be the home of a factory that made umbrellas. I wonder if it's still there. We'll have to find out. V. V is for the American Visionary Art Museum, which is located in, guess where? Yup, Baltimore. Many artists whose work is shown there never went to art school. All the work is very personal, about dreams and feelings. Most of the artists use bright colors. Outside the museum, there is a huge whirligig, a big sculpture made of tree limbs that you can climb into, and there is a car covered with beads. It's a very cool museum. I like to walk around there and see all the displays they have in there. W is for the War Between the States, which is another name for the Civil War. Though Maryland sided with the Union, it was a border state during the Civil War. Battles between the Northern and Southern armies were fought in Maryland at South Mountain, Antietam, and the Monocacy. You can visit these famous battlefields. There's some pretty cool fields to go and look at and see 
where they fought during the Civil War. X. X is for xylophone. Xylophones, drums, and folk instruments from all over the world can be found at the House of Musical Traditions, a store in Tacoma Park, HMT also gives lessons and sponsors concerts. It has been at, oh, excuse me, it has been a Tacoma Park landmark since 1972. Hmm, I've never been to that music store. Why? Why is for you? You are here on the map. You can find Maryland by following the arrows. It is on the east coast of the United States in the mid-Atlantic region. So right here, that's us, that little pink part on the map. And we've been studying about maps. I like how they have the solar system here and all the arrows pointing to Earth, because we kind of know we live on Earth. And then it has an arrow pointing to this part of the globe, and then the map of the United States of America, which we know is on the North American continent. Z. Z is for Zippy and Zoe. They are my cats, and they live with me in Silver Spring, Maryland. They are both very affectionate and really smart. When they're not chasing fireflies, opening cabinets, or hiding my keys, they like to sit on my work table and watch me paint and write. They're here right now. Wow. So, we learned a lot about the state of Maryland. So now you can scroll down and find out what your assignment is. I have a funny feeling it's going to be something to do with Maryland.